right, let's turn to Galatians. Galatians chapter four, the end of the chapter. I'm going to read into chapter five. Mm -hmm. Attention to God's word. Now you brothers, like Isaac, are children of promise. For just as at the time he who was born according to the flesh persecuted him who was born according to the spirit, so also it is now. What does the scripture say? Cast out the slave woman and her son, for the son of the slave woman shall not inherit the son of the free woman. So brothers, we are not children of the slave, but of the free woman. For freedom, Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. So look, I, Paul, say to you that if you accept circumcision, Christ will be of no advantage to you. I testify again to every man who accepts circumcision that he is obligated to keep the whole law. You are severed from Christ. You never would be justified by the law. You have fallen away from grace. But through the Spirit, by faith, we ourselves eagerly wait for the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything, but mm -hmm. only faith working through love. You were running well. Who hindered you from obeying the truth? This persuasion is not from him who calls you. A little leaven leavens the whole lump. I have confidence in the Lord that you will take no other view. And the one who is troubling you will bear the penalty, whoever he is. But if I, brothers, still preach circumcision, why am I still being persecuted? In that case, the offense of the cross has been removed. 